Welcome back to my channel. And if you see me looking crazy like this, it's because it's wash day. I'm going to attempt to show you how I wash my hair. Um, the process that I use to wash it and everything that comes with that. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I do is get myself a spray bottle with some very, very warm water in it. Uh, and the reason that I do this is because my hair at the roots is becoming very thick. Uh, must be all those fruits and vegetables. And if I don't do that, it'll be very, very um, hard to detangle. So I get the warm water. I focus on my roots. Yeah, you do get that oil running in your eyes. Uh, and the reason that I use the warm water is to help open my cuticles. So I'm spraying the warm water on the roots and massaging it into my hair. And I'm really trying to concentrate on um, problem areas or places in my scalp where my hair is very uh, coarse at the bottom. And also you'll see me uh, smoothing my hair right now. What I'm trying to do is work the warm water into the cuticles that are opening so that any uh, uh, buildup or excess oil that I have on my strands uh, will begin to loosen up and melt. And then that way, when I go to put the um, shampoo in my hair, it'll penetrate quickly and I won't have to leave it on there very long or do two or three washings to get the excess oil out of my hair. And it does take me a few minutes uh, to get this done. So, this is what I do to prepare myself for washing. Uh, you saw me move my wide tooth comb there a minute ago. And that's because after I get finished finger detangling, which is what I'm doing right now, gently pulling my hair apart in sections to get it ready uh, for the broad tooth comb that I'm going to use to take out any dead hair, shedded hair, all of your hair is dead anyway, but to take out any shedded hair, if I run into any uh, thick spots that still feel a little dry, then I give it another uh, spray with the warm water. Uh, and, uh, and then I uh, section that off with my fingers and, and I just keep repeating that process until the hair is very soft and manageable. Because what happens is, like I said, the oils that have solidified uh, in your hair will melt under the heat, especially the coconut oil. So now I have I'm ready for my broad tooth comb. I'm going to start at the bottom uh, and work my way up. That way, if I start at the top and comb down, if there's any tangles, uh, it's just going to rip my hair out. So I start at the bottom, work my way up, and as you can see, the comb is going through very easily. The back section of my hair particularly at the root, seems to be a different texture. I'm still going to start at the bottom and work my way up. But when I get all the way uh, to the root, it can be a little bit challenging. So sometimes I have to spray a little bit more water uh, to get it to loosen up some. And other times I don't. It just it just depends. But uh, sometimes I can feel a little bit of a, a snag like there. <laughs> And I'll have to use a little bit more water so I don't rip a hole in the back of my head. Oh my gosh. And then I'll go back to finger detangling until I get that tangle out. And then I will start at the bottom again, work my way down, uh, up and down, up and down, until I hit another snag. <laughs> and then I will um, work on that. So. If my hair feels like it's drying out a little bit, you'll see me uh, spray a little more water. I'll squeeze the water into my hair and start with the comb again until I get it combed all the way through. So after I get it all combed all the way through and I don't feel any snags or any tangles, then the next thing I'm gonna do is pull all my hair back 
um, and I'll pull it up. Uh, you'll see me do that in a second. And as you can see, it looks a lot more manageable. When I first started, the video looked very stiff. It was very dry. So I'm just going to put it in a semi knot, uh, put a comb on it to hold it in place up there, like so. And she cute. Well, okay. And now you'll see me struggle try to get this stupid cap on because the comb. <laughs> is in the way and uh, I have a plastic cap inside of this cap this is actually a deep conditioning cap uh, that I use when I don't want to and the struggle is on y'all <laughs> so I'm gonna take it apart but this is a cap that I use when I don't want to use a heating cap um, or when I'm giving myself a hot oil treatment I'll put this on and just use my body heat to heat the oil so I'm going to put this cap on and leave it on for a few minutes Finally, and now after I've got that done, I will leave it on about 20 minutes and then I'll start the wash. Okay then.